Okay, uh, my name is Andy Young and I'm one of the lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, and I teach automotive, as you can probably guess from, the, uh, from what you can see. Now, uh, some of the other videos that I've been producing uh, so far have covered um, testing alternator outputs, the charging circuits on the car. Uh, we've done CV joints, uh, how to fit CV boots, how to refit brakes, all that kind of stuff. There's heaps of videos and there will be lots and lots more uh, as time progresses. Okay, so um, we need to do a parasitic draw test on this vehicle uh, to see what amperage consumption there is when everything's turned off, when the car's just parked up and not in use. Um, older cars, anything up to maybe half an amp is sort of acceptable. Uh, modern day cars could be one and a half, maybe even two amps. It just depends on the systems on the car. I, I know that um, the modern Range Rovers uh, have many systems that are running all the time, even when the engine's turned off, the keys are out of the ignition and the doors are locked and you're in the pub having a pint. Um, so to do this, we need to grab our meter and the setting on our meter is, you can see that there, look, it, we're on 20 amps and I've had to move the lead from here into the amperage socket there, look. Okay, so that's how you set your meter up. And then we need to put the meter in circuit. So we need to disconnect the earth off the battery, the earth wire, it's quite simple, under the clamp. Give it a wiggle, there we go. And one of the leads, doesn't matter, it really makes no difference which, because amps flow both, you know, can flow from the meter either way. Uh, one we'll put on there, and the other one, I will hold on the battery. And the reading that we're getting is 0.12 amps. Now that's an excellent reel. It's even dropped even further now. Make sure we're getting a good connection. There we go. Yep, 0.12 amps, near enough, which is minuscule. And um, that really tallies with this particular vehicle's history. Um, this vehicle can be parked up for weeks and weeks, if not months, without uh, it being used at all, and it always starts first time. It's a really good, reliable little car. Um, and the battery doesn't really seem to get drained at all. Um, and judging by that, we've now, we've now dropped, actually, down to um, 0 0.05 of an amp. So, you know, a twentieth of one amp, tiny, tiny drain. Um, so, you know, this vehicle could be left parked up for you know, quite a long period of time before it's going to really start to affect uh, and give starting problems. So that's how you do a parasitic draw. Now, um, if, for example, um, the, the reading was a lot higher, it could be an indication that we've got a short circuit somewhere uh, in the loom on one of the vehicle systems. Um, or something as simple as an interior light staying on. Maybe the one in the boot, the one that you don't normally, but you, you wouldn't even know it's still on when you close the boot and you can't see it. Um, but sometimes they can stay on. Um, if the little switch that's triggered by the boot has gone out of adjustment, then they can stay on. Um, or maybe there's a short circuit somewhere. But it, at least by doing this check, this is the initial stage to see, is there too much going out of the battery when the car's not in use? Is that the reason why the battery's going flat? If we got a high reading, the next stage is to move on to the fuse box and start pulling fuses out and seeing where, which of the circuits on the car the drain is. And then you can keep narrowing it down, working your way through the circuit. But this is a real simple test to just isolate, you know, is there a passive drain, yes or no? If the answer is no, um, then you can look elsewhere for the, for the starting problem, you know, for the charging issue, the battery problem, whatever it is. Okay. Thanks for watching.